Hello, hello, and welcome to English 101. This tutorial covers the syllabus. Let's go over that syllabus together. My email address is shown here, but a quick tip. If you contact me through the Canvas classroom, I will get that email immediately, and I will be able to answer you back so much more quickly. So log into your Canvas classroom, click that little email icon on the left menu bar, and email me if you need to. Face-to-face -face classes are set up as a traditional classroom. Online classrooms are accessible 24-7. Everything is accessible through the Canvas platform. In face-to-face -face classes, the first part of the class begins exactly on time and consists of the lecture portion of the class where I'm going to cover something that I want you to learn. Then there's a break. After the break, we come back and we work on whatever assignment is currently in the works. After that section, the class remains open for students to do a number of different activities, including, but not limited to, going over to the Writing Center, going to use the computers in the library or seek the help of a librarian, going to the writing center, going to conduct research off campus, and continue the work for the day outside the classroom. And that is what is meant by a traditional classroom. Now if that is not the setup for a classroom that you prefer, I want you to make sure that you understand all that before we get started with this class. Class starts exactly on time. These prerequisite skills are the abilities that you are to have mastered prior to taking this course. Now if you're anything like me, you might look over this list and go, oh my goodness, I'm not sure that I have mastered this or that skill. Not to worry. We're going to do some exercises at the beginning of the class that are going to refresh your memory, but you can also copy and paste any one of these and go over to YouTube or other services like that and get you some tutorials on that. The Writing Center can help you as well. But remember, this course operates from these prerequisites forward. So this is not a basic skills writing course. This is English 101. These are the course objectives, and you see a little box next to them because you will be able to check off each one of those boxes when we complete the semester. I like to approach these objectives from a very creative standpoint. I believe that students should have a choice in what they write about, and I do have some guided structure, but I like students to make choices and be able to write about subject matter that is important to them and will help them as they move forward in their college and university careers. So if creativity is your thing, then we're off and running. If that's not, creative assignments aren't your bag, then you need to know that from the syllabus forward. Attendance is something that's important to know as well. The school allows for one the equivalent of one week of absence per semester. So if a class meets once a week, you are allowed to miss one week. Do You don't need to explain that to anybody. You don't need to give any kind of reason for that at all. You have that one absence. Beyond that, you will be excluded from the course. Now there are some exceptions to that that have to do with religious holidays and have to do with your hospitalization and other crisis situations, but the policy is one absence per semester or excluded from the course. And this is a little bit about those exceptions. Uh, if you were in an emergency room, you'd want to present those documents. Some people have a military situation going on. Some have religious holidays. I embrace all of that. But again, you and I both know that communication is key and critical and honesty is important in letting me know what's going on. If you decide to leave before the classroom 
is released, that will be an absence. So remember when you come to class is time for class. And we have a good time in class, so you'll want to be there. These are the grade breakdowns. I want to go over this a little bit. You know that a, an essay would be of a higher percentage value than, say, a daily assignment. So these are the grade breakdowns. These, there's some fun exercises we do for basic skills, and those collectively are 10% of the grade. There's a reading comp exercise that's so much fun, and that is 5% of the grade. Essay 1 is 15% of your grade, and that's such a fun essay to write. Essay 2 is another challenging and creative essay where you pick topics that mean something to you. Essay 3 is a group project, and you'll enjoy that, and it's very creative. And then this essay 4 is reserved for people who have a grade point at the point of this essay 3 completion that is below 91.51. So, after you've completed basic skills, reading composition, essay 1, essay 2, and essay 3, and you have perfect attendance in class, and your grade point average is 91.51, then you can waive the final essay and take the A that you have earned and go on your wonderful way. Remember, every document, everything, must be submitted with a word count, minus 10 for failure to do that. That's to protect you and make sure that you legitimately show the number of words that you have written and created. I want to go over classroom policies real quickly. Every class starts exactly on time. I've already said that. I don't need to keep repeating that. Cell phones. If you bring out a cell phone in class, I'm going to quietly ask you to leave, and that's going to count as an absence. Uh, I've only had to do that twice. Can you imagine? Only two times have I ever had to ask a student to leave because of a cell phone. Y'all are really good about that. Just turn the phone off, put it away. There's going to be a break, and you may certainly turn on your phones during the breaks. But when we're in class, I won't have my phone on, and I don't want you to have your phone on. It is illegal in the state of California. Class lectures. And you have everything here in the Canvas classroom anyway, so that's... We are one big, happy, diverse group of people. And it's important to me that everybody come to class in that spirit. I want everybody to get along and encourage one another. We are all in this boat together. Everybody is learning, and I want it to be a safe space for people to be able to speak up and ask questions and enjoy the experience. I never give a, an incomplete grade, so keep that in mind as you move forward in this course. I will not issue an incomplete grade. The withdrawal policy is the same as the campus policy, so you'll want to look at the schedule in your handbook for that information. Plagiarism is using anybody else's work without giving credit. Don't do it. I'm going to be going over that. There are some tutorials in here, and I'll be going over that in class as well. Uh, the group assignment, which is the Creative Essay 3, is important, and I'll tell you why. When you go to your university level courses or you go out into the work world, you're going to be working in groups. It's just the way of the world. And so this is going to be a great opportunity to work in a group and learn how those dynamics uh, fit together. A little disciplinary action I've never had to do in my life. Do take a minute to look at the rules for group participation. That's in your syllabus, and you're going to be getting a hard copy of this syllabus, and it's important that you know what's expected of you and so forth. Writing Center is fantastic. Uh, and the last thing is remember that this is a flexible syllabus subject to change. Some things won't change, and that thing is, you guessed it, class always starts on time. So I'll see you in class, and that concludes this tutorial on English 101.